These videos are intended to be used to complement the instruction of this subject by classroom teachers as a teaching aid, by independent learners as a review tool to enhance and improve the understanding of these topics, resulting in improved performance in CSEC examinations. Now that we know about the structures of the eye and their functions, we will now learn exactly how they work together to create a picture or image enabling us to see things in our environment. Just like a camera. Some persons are not able to see with precision. Let's find out why this happens and what can be done to correct these situations. State some common eye defects. When the different parts of the eye malfunction, proper sight is hindered. This can lead to common eye defects. Some people can see near objects clearly, but not distant objects. This condition is known as short sight or myopia. On the other hand, a person suffering from long sight can see distant objects clearly, but near objects appear blurred. Hello, my name is Dr. Aaron Wall from IQ Optical, and we're here today to discuss how the eye works from an optical standpoint. Um, basically, most defects of the eye are basically down to problems with the shape and when the shape of the eye isn't correct then the light doesn't focus on the retina at the back and we have a foggy image. There are a few different ways that this can happen but basically if we have a look at this diagram we can see that the eye is a bit like a ball. It has at the back of it the retina which in, in effect is the screen and that's what the light and the image needs to focus nice and sharply on. At the front of the eye we have the cornea. Think of it like your windscreen, but the cornea is actually responsible for focusing the light that enters the eye. It then passes through the lens. The lens now will change your focus between a distant object and a near object, and then hopefully focuses sharply on the retina at the back of the eye. Unfortunately, predominantly for genetic reasons based on shape, not always does the light focus on the back of the eye, and we have a few different terms to describe it. When the light focuses in front of the eye, then we call it myopia or nearsightedness. And typically this has got to do with one of two or a combination of reasons. Either the eyeball is too long or the cornea at the front, the windscreen, remember, is too steep. Both of these things will have the effect of causing the light to focus in front of the retina and being out of focus these people who are nearsighted or short-sighted short -sighted, typically see well nearby but struggle to see far away and we help them to see by giving them glasses or contact lenses that pushes that focus from in front of the retina onto the retina so they get a nice clear picture and can see well at all distances. Um, with farsightedness now basically the opposite happens typically the eyeball is shorter than average or the curvature of the cornea is flatter which means that the light doesn't focus quickly enough and so the focus is actually behind the retina and this causes distant objects to still be in focus typically especially when you're young but means that rather than the eye being relaxed when you look in the distance the muscles in the eye already have to start working utilizing some of the ability of the lens um, already at distance when the lens is supposed to be relaxed at distance and so what this means is because your lens is al already working to focus a distant object the extra work the lens now needs to do up close means it gets tired and typically these people will have trouble reading or seeing nearby and these people we call them farsighted or hyperopic. Another common eye defect is astigmatism which causes difficulty in seeing fine details. Astigmatism is caused by an irregular shaped cornea or lens so that light rays focused at different planes at different points. Astigmatism can be corrected by using a lens that has different radii of curvature in different planes.